up guys and welcome back to my channel you already know what I'm gonna show you how to make and as usual I will be listing the full list of ingredients and the measurements in the description below okay so here I have the swans down cake flour which is this right here I've already added the salt and baking powder to it I have unsalted butter which is at room temperature make sure yours is the same I have whole milk which is at room temperature make sure yours is at room temperature as well I have sugar, I have baking spray that's going to be for later use. I have a whole fresh lemon that we will be zesting and also squeezing the juice from that lemon. I'm going to use fresh lemon juice because that makes the cake much more flavorful and also fluffier because of the acidity in it. Even if you tried using a high quality extract, it still won't top using a fresh lemon in this recipe. And I have some magic lion extract which is a butter vanilla flavor this stuff is amazing it makes your cake taste like it came straight from the bakery if you guys are interested in this i have it in my amazon affiliate link that is listed below in the description as well i have some yellow food coloring we're going to just use a little bit of that i got my eggs which are at room temperature as well and here i have some crisco butter shortening sticks that is going to make this cake taste so amazing so without further ado, guys, let's get started on making this cake. We're going to start out by creaming our sugar and butter together. All right, guys, so I already added the shortening to uh, the mixing bowl. Now I'm going to be adding the butter. All right, so I'm going to cream the butter and the shortening together just for a couple of minutes before I add in the sugar. All right, and you want to do this about two to three minutes just to make sure that they are completely binded together because you don't want to have pockets of shortening then pockets of butter. You want this to be creamed together completely. So at this point, we're finished with this. I'm going to scrape down the sides to make sure that everything is mixed together. So now what I'm going to do is add my shoot attachment so that I can add the sugar without it going everywhere. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our sugar, but I'm gonna turn this on low. Okay, that's the first half. Now I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is let this cream together and in between, scrape down the sides. You want your butter and sugar to cream together for about eight to 10 minutes until it develops a pillowy, cloudy look, like a, a light pale color. But of course, I will be showing you guys everything. So I'm gonna cream this for about eight to 10 minutes and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so that's enough. It's been about eight minutes. I just wanna show you guys what it's supposed to look like, what you're supposed to have. When you make this cake, you see this right here? This is the exact look you're supposed to have. It's supposed to have a cream color, okay? Okay, so now you wanna scrape your sides down. Make sure you get that bottom. You always want everything to be mixed in evenly. Now we're gonna mix in our eggs one at a time on a low speed. Now you just want to scrape down the sides of the bowl to make sure all of the eggs are mixed in. Okay, so now you just want to mix this for a few seconds just to make sure everything is mixed in. Okay, so that does that. So now what I'm going to do is add the zest of one lemon, okay? The lemon zest is going to make the cake taste so amazing. When you guys try this recipe, you'll see exactly what I mean. So I'm just going to mix that in. 
Now I'm going to scrape down the sides. Adding the lemon zest to your cake is going to make your cake taste fresh, which it is. I mean, it's from scratch and you're using fresh lemon juice instead of extract. And now with the lemon zest, it's going to make it taste even better. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my creme brulee extract. And also my freshly squeezed lemon juice. So this last little bit of freshly squeezed lemon juice that I have, I'm going to reserve it to make our glaze for the cake. Okay, so let's mix this in now. Okay, so I'm going to add this shoot attachment back to the mixing bowl. Now we're going to alternate our flour with our whole milk. Okay, so when it comes to alternating your flour and your milk, you want to start with dry and end with dry. So start with your flour and end with your flour. In between, make sure you scrape down the sides of your bowl to get all that excess flour down. You don't want this to end up in your cake later on this way. All right, we're going to hit those sides again, and we're going to get that flour out of the middle so that can be mixed in as well. Okay, so now I'm going to add a few drops of this yellow food coloring. This is optional, guys. Okay, so that was four drops, and this is going to be the last mix. All right, so that is good enough. So at this point, if all of your ingredients aren't fully mixed in, you want to stop here and mix it in the rest of the way with a whisk or a spatula to make sure that everything is combined. Because if you keep mixing it with the mixer, it's going to whip too much air in it and your cake will be too dense and it won't come out fluffy. Okay, so I'm ready to put this into our tube pan, which I will be spraying with some baking spray. So let's get that done. All right, so we have our tube pan. And I'm going to go in with this baking spray. And you want to make sure you definitely get the middle of this tube, okay? Okay, that's perfect. Now let's get our batter into this tube pan. Okay, so now you just want to spread it around. Okay, that's good right there. Then you want to shake it a little back and forth to make sure it's leveled out. Then you want to tap it. Sorry about the noise, but it's necessary. Okay, at this point, you want to make sure that you were already preheating your oven at 325 degrees. And now I'm going to pop this in the oven for about an hour and 15 minutes. And I'll be back when our cake is done. All right, guys. So our cake is done. And let me tell you, this cake had my house smelling so good. I mean, oh my God. And I can't wait to try this cake. So I'm going to let this cake cool completely. And then we're going to make our glaze for it. All right, so it's time to make our glaze now. So here in the bowl, I have some softened butter. Make sure your butter is very, very, very soft. And I have that leftover pure lemon juice. Then I got some powdered sugar. And I have a little milk. So we're going to start out by mashing the butter. You see how soft that is? How easy I'm able to go like right through it. Okay, so I don't need to do much with that. I'm going to add our powdered sugar. And we're just going to smash that in. 
and don't worry guys you shouldn't have any clumps because this is very soft and once I add that lemon juice is gonna all break up and right, we're gonna start out with half of it mmm it smells so good if you guys know what a uh, lemon meringue pie smells like it smells just like it right now that's also one of my favorite pies <laughs> and also guys if you haven't already make sure you like this video comment share and definitely subscribe to the channel and most of all hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post another video All right. I just want to get this lemon juice mixed all the way through before we add that milk in. Okay, so now we're just going to thin it out a bit with the milk. And you want to start out with very little as possible. I want it a little looser than that. All right, this looks perfect. Okay, so here's the consistency. Now let's get this glaze onto this cake. Okay, guys, so here's my cake. And a little bit of it did get stuck to the bottom of the pan. You know, it wasn't nothing serious, but this still looks good, and it's a nice color. So let's go ahead and get that glaze on there. Just gonna put it around and allow it to fall over. Guys, and this glaze with that fresh lemon juice, oh my God, it smells and it tastes amazing. You know I had to taste it. <laughs> and you wanna push as much over to the edges because you don't wanna have a thick coating of the glaze. All right, guys, so there you have it. Here's our fresh lemon pound cake. And now for the best part of the video, we're going to taste this and see how well we did. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in right about here. Well, I could feel how moist this cake is. Wow. I can't stress enough how good this smells. <laughs> oh, man. Can't wait for you guys to try it. Ooh wee, look at that beauty. You can see that that cake is moist. You can see that. I know you see it. <laughs> All right, so let's put this on the plate and give it a try. Let me just show you guys the inside of the cake. That is a moist cake. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's taste it now. All right, let's dig in. Wow, look how moist this is. Oh God, guys, I'm excited. All right, first bite goes to you. Now to me. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Guys, I kid you not. This is the best lemon cake I've ever made. Please follow this recipe. It's nice and it's moist. Check this out. It's so moist. Oh my God. And the flavors. Oh my God. That lemon, using fresh lemon is best instead of lemon extract. 
it tastes so much better. There's no top in that. And the glaze with the fresh lemon, guys, you gotta, gotta, gotta give this a try. This recipe is outstanding. I kid you not. So with all of that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.